I see a lot of digital transformation today as a shift from the pipeline-based model to the platform-based model. But a lot of digital transformation, unfortunately, looks like this. A lot of experiments that have nothing to do with each other happening in different parts of the enterprise. So the marketing unit is doing its own experiment. The customer service unit is doing its own experiment. Five business lines are doing their five different experiments. None of it is connected. This is how a lot of digital transformation used to look like till very recently. And then companies realized that the value is not in all of these experiments. The value is in having a common infrastructure on top of which you run these experiments so that the moment something is successful, it feeds back into the overall business rather than just helping a particular business line. And so we need a new kind of transformation roadmap that helps us move from the firm way of thinking to the platform and ecosystem way of thinking. I see this, that roadmap as having three steps. The first step is that we need to digitize the enterprise. What that means is that everything that is critical inside the enterprise, first we need to get our whole own house in order. Everything that is critical inside the enterprise, critical assets, critical interactions with external people, critical flows in, in to, inside the enterprise, all of those things should be digitized. And that is the first step. But this is what I mentioned some time back. Just digitizing things will not solve for creating an ecosystem. In addition to digitizing, you also need to make the enterprise ecosystem ready, which is to say that there should be flow across all silos within the company. The bigger your company, or even, if, even with very small companies, you start seeing things break into silos. Whether it is processes, whether it is data, all of these things should flow with each other so that it gives you a single view of the customer, a single view of the supplier, and hence a single view of the overall ecosystem around you. Without a single view of the ecosystem, you cannot manage the ecosystem. It's like running a puppet show but having strings in five different places for the same person. You cannot orchestrate the ecosystem unless you have a common view, a single view of the entire ecosystem. And that's when you move to the third step, which is where the third phase is where value really kicks in. Once you see the whole ecosystem, you start harnessing the flows in the ecosystem. You start connecting the right suppliers with the right buyers. You start connecting your partners with your customers. What becomes important is the company that owns the engagement of the customer wins because all partners start coming to this company. All of them start organizing themselves around this particular company. And from the perspective of the company, all of these partners are not necessarily competing. They are complementary. They are partners that enhance the value for the customer. And that is how the overall platform-based ecosystem gets created. Let's take a quick example. I want to give you an example of a company called Walgreens in the US, uh, which is trying to build pharmacy as a platform. So Walgreens has been in the traditional business of selling medicines. Selling medicines is a pipeline business. Buy medicines, push it through, and sell it, and just ensure that you can sell the maximum number of medicines before the expiry date comes in because that is what will make it a good process. That is what will reduce the costs involved in your supply chain. And so they've been doing that. When they moved to a platform-based ecosystem, the first thing they did was they digitized consumer decisions with the pharmacy. What they realized is that unlike other kinds of situations, when you're buying groceries, when you're buying something else, unlike those situations, in the case of healthcare, if you know all the medicines a patient is consuming, you can have a very good profile of that patient. You can probably have a better profile of the patient than his five different hospitals with whom he's interacting. And so if you can own all consumer purchases in one place, you can have a really good profile, of a med medical profile of that consumer. So the first thing they did was they started this loyalty program. And internally, it was a good sell because they were not saying we're building this big platform. They were saying we're just making customers more loyal. And that is what's important. When you're an incumbent and you want to move towards a platform model, you'll see a lot of resistance inside. You need to frame your roadmap so that the first step itself has some form of ROI, as you see in this example. With increased loyalty, they started seeing economies because customer lifetime value increased. No matter where the customer went and bought, as long as he bought it at Walgreens or on the mobile phone app or through uh, you know, an Amazon Eco uh, a, a kind of ass assistant, irrespective of which channel the customer purchased on, all of that data was tied to a single view of the customer. 
What this enables them to do is that, especially for customers who have long-term diseases, like, let's say, diabetes, customers who have long-term medication management, they start getting a lot of data. And so they then move to the externalities phase, where they connected these customers with telehealth experts based on the data. They started co connecting them with other kinds of partners who would give the customers even more value once they were connected with them. And this is how they move from a pharmacy, which is a traditional pipeline business model. It's, it is so textbook pipeline that even a, even a third grade student can understand why a pharmacy is a pipeline. They, they move from that model to a platform-based model. And you, what you see over here is that they, they did two or three things that are really important. First of all, they digitized the full profile of the customer. That's really important. The moment you digitize that, you have the maximum power within that industry because the final, decision, the final decision making factor is owned by you. You own the final decision making factor, not just for medicines, but for anything in healthcare. And so with that, Walgreens can move to becoming an end-to-end -end healthcare platform, not just a better medicine pipeline. So the first thing is the digitization. The second thing is the ownership of the customer, which then draws the participants and the other uh, partners. And the third important thing internally that they did was they ensured that there was a business case at every phase of this roadmap. You cannot sell a business case internally which will give you business in seven years' time, in 10 years' time. Sure, that is when all the externalities would kick in, maybe in the next three years, four years, but you need a business case for the first year as well. What will digitization give you? Maybe it will cut your costs, maybe it will increase your revenues. You need to ensure that you look at your business in this model and have a business case framed out for every step in this journey. So finally, I want to bring it all home with this one key statement that I want you to all to leave with, which is that the goal of a platform, if you want to move and participate in the platform revolution, what you need to do is integrate the enterprise to orchestrate the ecosystem. The two things have to work together. You cannot think of a platform model without having integrated the enterprise first.